Hi guys, so this is my Botfly Larvae tutorial. So I'm starting off with a clean, dry base and taking this Graftobian modelling wax and a spatula and smearing it on my leg, like we did with the maggots. Now taking some Vaseline, we're going to smooth this out. Again, if you push hard enough, you can really smooth out any lumps you have and make sure you get all the edges so they blend into the skin. But because I quite like this lumpy look, I kind of kept some of the lumps in there. Now taking a Q-tip with the puff taken off, I'm creating holes where my larvae are going to go. As these are exaggerated looks, I'm creating kind of a very brutal looking scenario, as if you never saw your leg for a few weeks. Again, I'm just cutting out enough holes for all of my larvae to go. Now taking some Vaseline, I'm going to smooth over the holes. This does shrink down the hole slightly, so you kind of have to mess around when you put the larvae in. Now here's my botfly larvae and I'm just pushing them into the holes. Again, this was made with latex and modelling it over some clay. Very similar to the maggots, just a lot bigger. Now once they're in place, I'm just smoothing the edges around them so they blend in a lot better. With the smallest one at the bottom, it didn't quite merge in as well and I actually used that to my advantage. So taking some translucent powder, you're going to pat it down on top of the wax so it mattifies it and makes it easier to work with. Do not swipe, just tap. You can swipe around it, as you can see there is a slight ring where the white powder kind of stained my actual leg but not the wax. But make sure you pat, otherwise it just smears it everywhere. Now taking some alcohol activated paint in bruise tone, I'm going around the edges of these botfly larvae. As you can see it did run a bit but that was totally fine, it just creates a different kind of bruising effect as I used a little bit too much alcohol for this so I had to deepen up the colour. As you can see I'm deepening up the colour though this did come out a bit too dark but it still worked to my advantage. I'm just taking a blue toned as well at the moment. Just to create much more of a bruised capillary effect. Now taking this small brush, I'm going to take the aged blood and place it around all the larvae. This creates an irritated look as if they've burrowed into the skin and are being pulled out. Now taking some fake blood, I'm going to place this around all my bot flies. Like I said, with the little one it was loose, so I managed to squeeze some blood inside there and made it look like it was coming off already. This actually creates a really cool effect though, because it make, when you can pull one off, it still looks like it's all gruesome outside. So taking a Q-tip, we're just going to smear this blood a bit around, so we're going to create some drop effects. And we're just going to make it look a little bit bloody, because if you were pulling these suckers out, I'm pretty sure you're going to be bleeding. Now taking some fake pus, which is basically a pus gel, we're going to just smear this around again, blend it in with some blood to create a really gruesome effect. And always use a clean Q-tip when you're dipping it into the product because you do not want to contaminate it. With this little one at the front, I managed to get some pus underneath it and squeeze it out to create such a gruesome effect. I absolutely loved it. Don't forget to add a little bit of clear pus as well, just to create that more gruesome effect. Make sure a little bit drips down. And there you have it, your botfire larvae coming out your leg. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you're not, and leave a comment down below what you thought, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!